Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD's Zen 3 Epic crushes Intel Xeon. Prices are going up. First, Ryzen 5800U benchmark, but you won't be able to buy one. And Rocket Lake is an overclocking monster. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, we're starting to get benchmarks on AMD's upcoming Zen 3 based Epic server chips, and they do not disappoint. The newest benchmark was found by LeakBench on Twitter and it's of the 32-core 64-thread Epic 7543. As you can see, it was done on Geekbench, and according to Executable Fix, it has a base clock of 2.8 GHz and a boost of 3.7. When it comes to performance, the upcoming CPU completely crushes it. In fact, when we compare it to not one, but two, so a dual setup of Intel Xeon Platinum 8280s, we can see that the single 32-core Epic is neck and neck with it in multi-core performance and crushes it in single core. What's so unbelievable about this is that a single Xeon Platinum 8280 has a price tag of over 10 grand, while the equivalent 32-core Rome chip is under 4,000. Of course, this is the successor to Rome, but I doubt AMD will go up that much. Plus, let's not forget that it's competitive with two Platinum 8280s. Now, I do want to point out that when other outlets are discussing this comparison, some people mention that the kernel version of the Intel chips is older, but it's really like the best score in Geekbench that could be found for the 8280s. Still, I would at least keep that in mind. Either way, even if it does get some improvement from a newer kernel version, this is a giant difference to say the least. And simply upping clocks with higher power draw like Intel likes to do with desktop probably won't cut it in the server space. Oh, and by the way, when GPUs do get back in stock, get the best prices with today's sponsor, Micro Center, the first place I bought components for my first build, so I personally recommend them. Not only that, but they have 25 actual brick and mortar locations across the United States. And it's basically a paradise for tech lovers. Plus they have a great custom PC builder so you know you're getting the right parts. And you can have an expert assemble it for you the same day. Oh, and did I say best prices? Because Micro Center consistently has some of the best prices in the industry. And for a limited time, when you visit my link in the description, you'll get a free 32 gigabyte flash drive and 32 gigabyte micro SD card with no purchase necessary. So check that out below. Next up for today, it looks like we have more bad news for anyone wanting to build a new PC no, in 2021. God. If you remember, not long ago I covered a story about one of Micron's fabs experiencing a short power outage, and according to that report, it may actually hinder pricing of DRAM. Well, unfortunately, a pretty major earthquake occurred on December 10th, which forced Micron to take two fabs offline. Luckily, the December 4th issue was negligible, at least according to Micron, but apparently when we combined both of these, they were enough to cause issues. In a recent quote from the CEO of Micron, Sanja Marotra said this, the investments we have made over the last few years in facilities, redundancy, and clean room control substantially mitigated the impact of these two events. However, these disruptions have reduced our available FQ2 DRAM supply and negatively influenced our costs in the short term. The expected impact of these events is factored into our outlook. Micron also effectively stated that demand for DRAM is increasing, so prices will be increasing in Q1 as well. How much of an increase from all of this that we can expect, I'm not sure, but if you're needing new RAM, you may want to pick it up soon. Next up for today, we have one of the first benchmarks on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 5000 Ultra Low Power Parts. That means we're looking at the mobile ultra low power APU with what I believe is a 15 watt power envelope. The benchmarks were shared by Unicus Hardware, and as you can see, we have CPU-Z and Cinebench scores of the 5800U. And what's honestly quite impressive here is that it actually beats the single core score of Intel's desktop i9-10900K. And yes, we're talking an ultra low power part versus desktop. Now, with that said, tests of Intel's new Tiger Lake 1185G7 at 15 watts actually beats them both, so AMD may have a tough battle ahead. Basically, I seriously wish Intel would hurry up and bring their new 10 nanometer process to desktop. Of course, if you're hoping to purchase a Ryzen 5000 based notebook, you may have a tough time doing so. 
In a recent article from DigiTimes, they claim that the upcoming Zen 3 based notebook will be in short supply in Q1. Now, while I'm unable to read the full article, Tom's Hardware claims that it's due to either the PlayStation 5 or an issue with packaging and substrate availability. And speaking of, it does look like that is very much an issue, as TSMC corrected Tom's hardware concerning the substrate shortages. Now, it was really made to make a correction, but it ultimately confirms the issue, which means the supply issues seen in 2020 will likely remain for some time. And lastly for today, Intel's upcoming desktop 11th gen Rocket Lake is an overclocking champ. In a couple new videos posted by the user VWorld on Twitter, they show a CPU being overclocked with liquid nitrogen. As you can see in this video, it clearly shows a CPU being overclocked to a whopping 6.923 GHz, which is seriously impressive. I mean, that's so close to 7 GHz. Luckily, we know it's an 11th gen CPU because it clearly lists two instruction sets that are not supported on Comet Lake. And according to video cards, it is showing Cypress Cove cache, being that it's 48 kilobytes of L1 and 512 kilobytes of L2. At the end of the day, given how short the videos were and how they showed exactly what would tell us what we need to know, they're likely promos made to get people pumped for Intel's upcoming CPUs. Remember that we expect them to be announced at CES next week. And make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld so you can keep up with all things coming out of the show. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Intel's upcoming 11th gen CPUs or are you just wanting to build a new PC? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.